Hey everyone, I'm Alfred. Welcome back to Salt and Sanctuary. Last time we explored most of the Crypt of Dead Gods, and boy is that a metal name for your area. And this time... Ow. I spent like 20 minutes trying to get back to where I was, because I'd totally forgotten where the sanctuary is. Or the shrine, rather. Alright, let's party. I have spent about every gold piece I, I have, and I've spent about every salt that I can. Okay, not the way. Loud and clear. Very interesting to like... Whoa, okay. Yeah, very interesting to make, like, Krakens and Dragons the same thing. Because in often times, like, Krakens are essentially this, like, this big, impossible to defeat mega beast of the sea. And because there's a lot of, like, sailory things in this game, well, that makes sense. Oh man, he like red me. I guess he can't like put it directly underneath him. Whatever. Uh, but yeah, normally like a dragon is this unquenchable super beast that you could never f defeat. And if you defeat it, then you're a superhero. Uh, and Krakens are the same thing, but wet. To an extent, so it makes sense to, like, hybridize them. Alright, I'm out, so he might hit me with some long range. Aw, oh, man. I wasn't touching the stick there, he just hurt me, you know? Ooh, that wasn't good. You gotta like double roll to get past his like weight. Man, that happened again. Dude. Oh, that was painful. Scores. Let me do this. Let me fix this. I normally like to have my hair out. There we go. Much better looking. I'll tell you that for free. Let's party. Man, when you put like... I really... I, I do like just slamming myself with buff after buff. Ah, oh, dude. That's not cool at all. I was on base. Okay. I would love an Ukemi in this game. Oh, so he just does it like that no matter what. Jump to avoid that one. Jump with correct timing, though. Dude, uh, he, the, the fact that his body is so thick is like a legitimate problem because it means that you can't just roll through his hitbox in one move and he can like trap you in the corner. Uh... 
All right, I like that. That's a good system. Okay, let's party. Oh, yeah. Dude, not cool. Man. So I wonder if I should just try to stay away from the corners. Yeah, it looks like the end of that electricity is the most dangerous part of it. Eat your food. Yes. Dude, not cool. Lingering hitboxes, man. Man, that's not cool at all. Ah, oh, that's so lame. Oh, I'm mad. I'm upset. <laughs> Divine armor. Blessed weapon. Meant. Horn. Crystal. Roll. Let's keep that ready. The problem is that he kills me so fast. That, like, all my rolls aren't doing that much. My food rolls, that is. Should have gone under. Okay, that's fine. I can manage that. They go away at like different rates. It's kind of weird. That's good. So I can just double roll that. It's happening. I'm getting good. Okay, gotta gotta bear in mind his health bar as well as mine. See, fuck you. Yes. Oh, that that was scary. <laughs> yes. The crypt. Horse's horn. It's time you knew my name. There's a time I held many titles. Men knew me by other names as well. But titles, fame, infamy, it's worthless here. This island, Jared, is my name. Envy is such a thing. A man envies his neighbor whose wife is beautiful. Lord envies a king who commands nobles. A king envies a god to all whom all men must bow. And a god envies, god envies what a god cannot have. I wanted so much from life, satisfaction eluded me. And the things I prayed for, well, would you believe a god actually answered my prayers? These things, this life, this island, such is my reward. Fantastic power, a lifetime of servitude, and purgatorial existence in this still place. The god of this island is the god that answered my prayers. His existence is one of insatiable lust for something a god can never have, to be born of light. Like, sky and fire? Is, fi is light, like, sky and fire related? He preyed on the greedy, collecting on the debts of the kingdoms and countries in some mad hope of collecting the thing he shall never have. We are born of salt, bound by sanctuary. There's evil within, too. And you know, even if he loses someone he loves, a devil may cry. We are the eternally dead. This god, this demon, I want him to remain nameless. 
His lust for power is fueled by terror and infamy. Men at sea can fear the Kraken, but give this vile god no name. Go on. There's gonna be a sanctuary here, right? The Still Palace. Whoa. Oh, chest. King's orders. I can put another rank on my thing, on my shirt. Something tells me that after that, after all of this, now is probably the time to put down that last stone idol. Uh oh. Oh god, that was bad. Okay, I'm going to I'm going to do something and burn this salt. I'll be right back. All right. I sold a bunch of stuff in my inventory. And I got as much as I could get. So let's... I learned that you can do this, and this very much amuses me. You can stomp and then keep stomping. Just keep it going, you know? Using all my salt, you know? I wanna I wanna be able to get the last like stuff, but I don't know if I'm gonna be able to with everything in my inventory. And I'm not gonna grind. So I'm just gonna get my last few levels and bounce. I put the uh, king's orders on my on my shirt, so I have one more of those. Oh man, it's gonna be a w it's gonna be a bit. All right, I'll be back. All right, I can do this. That's two levels, and that's a total of. Okay. Let's burn these. Because if it's really bad, I can just. I can pour some gray pearls into it, you know? Oh, crap. I forgot about that. Three. Okay, another three gray pearls. Yeah, why not? Okay. Let's take a look then. This is the only class five cleric spell that I've found. Guardian Blade. It's a summon sword. Does it work with everything else? Oh, word. <laughs> Hello. That will work for me just fine. Thank you. <laughs> Actually, wait. Let's try it. It does a lot of damage. It does more damage than my swings, I think. I see 48 for my sword, and I see 72 for that thing. That 
That's pretty cool. I like it. I like it a lot. Oh, man. This is crazy, dude. There we go. Crypt of Dead Gods. So, is that why I've seen the na like the phrase Nameless God here and there? Like, I know I avoid spoilers, but like... I just... I've uploaded videos on Salt and Sanctuary. YouTube is like, oh, you you like you like Salt and Sanctuary? Here, here's videos of Salt and Sanctuary. And like, you know, Salt and Sanctuary, all bosses. And I'm like, no, don't show me that. Don't even think about fucking showing me that, YouTube. Don't do it. Just stop. What is this track as well? So what does going down give me? Well, that. One moment, everyone. All right, I made it back here. After far too much effort. So let's explore here. I want to see what's up. I think I already I'm gonna I'm gonna recheck over here just because I don't want to miss anything and like I know that I've missed stuff but like I don't want to miss like huge gameplay critical things you know okay so this top area is done and safe okay oh there might be some black pearls in here as well Damn it. There are normally two ways that a final boss will go. Um, one of them is the victory lap. Because, like, in Demon Souls, for example, and this is, you know, spoilers for a game that recently came out, but also it's a remake of a game that came out about 13 years ago? Yep, 13 years ago. It was 2009, I think. But yeah, spoilers for Demon Souls. I know that the remaster is new and that not everyone has played it because no one has a PS5. But the actual hardest boss of the game is a man named King Alant. False King Alant. Chest of salt, you say. Is that everything in here? No, it is not. Uh, but yeah, False King Alant is, like, allegedly the hardest boss. There are a couple other standouts, but King Alant is probably the biggest one. This is it. Hmm. Holy ambush ahead. You will no fear. <laughs> Word. Oh, man. It's me. It's a guy that's just you. <laughs> oh yeah. <laughs> See, I was afraid to go up uh, above uh, on this thing. Shit. Um. Anyway, yeah, False King Alant is the final boss, is the hardest boss, but he's not the final boss. And then the actual final boss is some, like, 
is like a worm. It's like a worm. It rides back and forth. It's in pain and agony. You know, that sort of thing. But it's not, you know, hard to kill. Okay, okay. I keep burning my, my dash too soon. But yeah, the worm is not hard to kill. It thrashes back and forth. It barely does enough damage to hurt you. It's not really hard, you know? Dude, that's so not cool. Yes. So what is in here? I love this look. It's like limbo. Oh, it links back to Hager's Cavern of all places. Why? Oh, it leads back to here as well. That's a big, that's a big one. Okay. So that's why it's so out of the way and weird looking. It's a shortcut. Whatever. Why not just burn one of these, huh? It's not like I'm at, like, a crucial part of the game where I need to save them. The final boss is in the building with me. Yeah, I thought that the final boss would be up those stairs. Or up that little jumping pit. The shrine feels so far away, you know? I wish there was like a shrine right up there. Okay. Guardian blade. Divine armor. Divine blessed weapon. Mountainous war horn. And then we'll party. It's like a man yelling. Interesting. Sword familiars are always one of my favorite things, you know? Word? Okay. Cool. <gasps> okay. There's a, a semi-tradition of Dark Souls bosses having a grab. One of these bosses' grabs will uh, steal a level from you. Uh, this could be trouble. This guy might have me. Eat. Oh, man. Oh, that might kill me. Oh, that killed me. Okay. It's not terrible. I can handle this. I can do this. I don't want to cut. If this episode's like an hour long, just because of attempts on the name is God, fine by me.
so be it, you know? <laughs> Oh, God. All right. I paused it for my run back. See, I feel like... Hmm. Oh, he's got big damage, y'all. Eat. Guardian Blade is doing some impressive work, though. I mean, it also just looks plain cool. Oh, God. I can hit when I'm animating. So that means that while I'm eating, Guardian Blade can swing. Interesting. Guardian Blade's out. That ain't good. Alright. Ah, oh. That was a bad time to go in. Alright. We're back. I've again edited out the run... Let's go. Ah, oh, this is so cool, man. Okay, again, bad time to go in. Oh boy. We want one of these going again? Oh man. <laughs> uh, good attempt. All right. We've hit 30 minutes. I didn't put my buffs on. That's not good. I should remember that I can do my uh, do my sword attack whenever now I don't have to be up it's got a meat cleaver dude that thing is nasty alright I re-upped it when I didn't have to So maybe that'll help. Oh god. Eat. Okay, so I can sometimes hit him out of that animation. Okay. 
Okay. It's not going terrible. Could be going better. But this should be the hardest thing in the game, right? Oh. There was just one of them, dude. Oh, crap. Oh, God. Oh, th that came out of nowhere. I mean, not out of nowhere, but... Oh! That got really close. Maybe if I had had my buffs on, I could have done it. All right, we're back again. Let's party, nameless god. I might like it if there was a little brighter. I know I can hit you out of it. Eat, eat, eat. Oh, man. The thing is, is that he does not have a lot of health. He doesn't have a lot of health. So as long as I can keep, stop myself from taking damage for long enough, I can just tear through his armor. I gotta get this stupid thing off. What am I... Why? This... That, that goes off too. Uh, I don't feel like switching my armor, even if he has, like, an elemental thing going on. I'm wearing armor that is almost entirely upgraded. Um, that's a little faster, I learned. Labin, you know? Let's party. Ah! Oh, I tried to interrupt him. It kind of worked. Ooh, that was dangerous. I haven't been anywhere close to running out of rolls, so I should just top off. Any chance I get. Any chance I get, I should just top off. Oh, man. Guardian Blade's up. <laughs> Woohoo! And look at look at all that I had to spare. Look, I had nine rolls left. See, <sighs> careless advance, merchant equipment. All luck, I said. Pride, sadness, and honor. The end of darkness. Praise, salt, and sanctuary off. That one's cute. I like that. Praise, Devara. Whatever. Praise the greatsword. Yeah, my man! Insane god. Fool. I mean, earlier I said I, I wanted dominion. 
and I'm I'm ironclad. I am an iron one. This would be in character, right? Is that helm is in helmet, or is in the helm of a boat? Cool. Interesting. I've got his back piece now. I know I made a choice. Oh, we're going to go all the way back? I really wanted to see this, actually. I was really excited to see the back path, you know? Superstitions. Fleeting gods. Crushed and hewn on bloodied rocks. Oh, man. Salt and Sanctuary. And yes, I got a trophy. So that's the Dominion ending. I imagine you can probably, by Ska Studios, you can probably drop yourself down the hole and get a different ending that way. Ska Studios is James Silva is the lead dishwasher. Art Unicorn is uh, Michelle Juet Silva. Team Renegade Radio is Nico Smart, the patron state of Warm. Court Magician is Gato Maria Hernando Rodriguez hyphen Rodriguez. Uh. Oh, man. More QA testers. Some thanks to Sony Japan. Script advisor, Franz von Eisenheim. That man has a YouTube channel. He goes by a German spy. Uh, he does a lot of Soulsborne content, so if I don't do enough Soulsborne content, you can go watch him. But he doesn't upload that much on YouTube anymore. He also had an excellent, like, legitimately, like, like show where he would review uh, restaurants, of all things. It was awesome. Uh, Franz is fine dining. I highly recommend it. It's what uh, introduced my fiance to croaks. Vati Vidya, there he is. Also has a YouTube channel, naturally. Uh, thanks to God, and a very special thanks to you. Thank you. This was so good. This was such a good Souls like. Oh, so I'm gonna turn my controller back on. A new adventure awaits. I'm not gonna make myself smaller. Because I imagine that this is New Game Plus. Yeah. Do I? Oh, man. I'm... I'm wearing the Overlord set. Is there not a helmet to go with this? Overlord's turban. Very heavy. Despite everything, you'll live. So what rank is this? Class 5 heavy armor. Oh yeah, we're in New Game Plus, baby. This was an absolutely fantastic game. Like, I... I actually do like this better than Hollow Knight. This was an astounding game. It's so high quality. It has such a small team. Oh, I'm back down to having all these, huh? Like, really good the whole way through. It was a lot of fun. It was really consistent as well. Um, it was a really, really enjoyable time to play. And there's so much variety. Because I started with heavy armor. And, and um, or I started with medium armor, I think. And like a uh, fat rolling. So I'm not actually like beefed enough to wear this. So... Maybe I should put some points in the heavy armor, huh? Class five. Oh, it's right there. Damn. I 
and what the hell. Oh, and I, by the sounds of it, my wife is home. This was an absolutely fantastic Souls-like. I might even play this in New Game Plus just because, because it was really, really fun and it's really, really good. It was like, this is, I can't really oversell this. This was just such a fun experience. Um, I'm, I'm happy to leave my character wearing this. I earned this stuff, you know? Like, ordinarily, I'm not like all about heaviest heavy armor. I do like being able to move, but like with something this tanky and chunky, I like the look of it. Also, I probably have a bunch of like leftover um, equipment from new game and I might be able to upgrade this with stuff that I don't, I didn't use on my other gear. Uh, but yeah, this was, ah, this was so good. I highly recommend everyone play this. Like, you'll definitely find your own way because I was just going Strength and Paladin, which is how I played Dark Souls 1. And that's how I like to play a lot of games. Um, and the reason I go for that is because Strength weapons are just really, really strong at carrying you. Um, and in a game like this, that is like, oh, do melee combat. I'm like, well, then I should do melee combat because the game is built around it. Uh, and then I like to loop in Paladin stuff later. Or I start as a cleric and then go straight into having as much strength as I can. Uh, and I like to do that because it means that I can survive more. And I would say that I survived this game, but... My goal was not survival, it was Dominion, I guess. I don't know if that's a retcon, but like... Oh yeah, I mentioned this in my other LP, but I have this tattoo now. Because that letter, the first letter of that word, Alfredric, my name, that's supposed to be the letter Ash, but they don't have it on this keyboard. Um, Salt and Sanctuary was absolutely fantastic. Scott Studios, thank you. Uh, and now I guess I join one of the many, many many people waiting for salt and sacrifice which is coming out soon salt and sacrifice is allegedly coming out soon from the epic game store not from steam i'm a little against that um there is a trailer out if you would like to watch it it looks really cool it has um cleaner art because i talked about this a little bit but it has a little bit of muddy textures and dark and like some of it is the art style because it's just so gritty um but yeah it is going to be on playstation 4 playstation 5 i have a ps4 and i have a pc um but yeah salt and sacrifice was a. Uh, announced the blog post on Scott Studios official website which is called Announcing Salt and Sacrifice was June 10th so it was a couple of months ago um but yeah I I don't know if I will play Salt and Sacrifice when it is out oftentimes I like to play um Souls Likes when they've been out for a couple of weeks or a couple of months I was like six months late on Sekiro. I was like eight months late on Bloodborne. I was like nine months late on Dark Souls 3. Um, I might be late on Elden Ring as well, but my wife really wants to play it. My fiance rather really wants to play it. So maybe we'll get in. But yeah, I might not play Salt and Sacrifice when it's out, but assure, assure you, I want to play it and I will probably let's play it because I had a fantastic time. Uh... Thank you to Scott Studios for making this awesome game. Thank you to all my commenters like uh, Shiva. And there are a few others uh, that were very helpful. Um, I would like to not thank the Fextra Life Wiki because it's kind of a crappy wiki and they've really been slipping in the recent years and I would really like them to up their game. Um, I can see you back there. But yeah, if you have a chance, play Salt and Sanctuary. Mwah. Eight out of ten game. Maybe nine. Eight and a half. I think it's better than Hollow Knight. And that's a controversial thing to say, I know, but it's really, really, really good. Uh, but yeah, I'll see you guys later. I did a stream of Dark Souls 1 if you want more Souls Soulsborne content from me. 
Um, I did not finish it, but I do intend to play more Souls Likes. And if you like more Metroidvanias, uh, I did a bunch of episodes on this game called Rogue Legacy, which is uh, a roguelike most similar to Symphony of the Night, but it is also a roguelike, uh, which is just really, really cool. Um, if you like more grim fantasy stuff, I have a running playthrough of Darkest Dungeon where I drink as much as I can stand uh, and then play Darkest Dungeon like that. Naturally, it's called Drunkest Dungeon. Um, and then my other big draws are I have a playlist of Morrowind videos from my full LP of Morrowind and some other stuff that is sitting at about 60 right now, 60, and I uh, have a show about roguelikes that is also at about 60 episodes. Those are my two biggest things right now, Morrowind and roguelikes, but Souls Likes are probably going to loop in on that because I also have a playlist for Souls Likes. But that's who I am. I'm Alfred. I have a lot of those videos. My name is short for El Friedrich. I had a really good time playing this game, and I can't stress that enough. It's really good. And I would probably even play it again. I mean, I'm going to new game plus it, but I might new game play it again. Uh, but I'll see you guys next time. I've been Alfred. Everyone have a really good day. <laughs>